I checked online today and there's a new Italian restaurant that I want to try today. I'm at Carabas. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying Carabas for the first time. And you can see, there's the front of the back. See the Carabas Italian Grill logo on the front. This is some restaurant that I never tried before. It's an Italian restaurant. And I just looked it up online today and I was interested in trying it today. So let me see what I got. I decided to get Medicina Alfredo right here. This is a side. It looks delicious. I don't think they have a chicken Alfredo, just a regular Alfredo. I have to double check, but I don't know. Okay. I probably didn't check the whole list. And here's also truffle fries too. In other words, this is just regular french fries with Parmesan on top. But that looks delicious. And I also asked for utensils too, right here. And they also gave me See what else they gave me. Ooh, it's a side of bread right here. They put in, they sliced it up here, right here. It's pretty interesting. Even though I asked for it. Oh, yeah, and if you didn't know, I ordered online. So I did a curbside pickup, and they automatically brought it out to me right when I pulled in. So they're pretty convenient and fast. That's what I like about this place. Man, this is. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. Ooh, it smells good. Oregano or <laughs> garlic. Let's see if they gave me anything else. Ooh, they gave me extra olive oil here too. Let's see what else. I think that's it. I don't think they gave me butter, but definitely I'm excited to try this. So when I ordered online, the truffle fries and the Alfredo were both $7.39 and the total came out to be $13.95 with tax. And let's see, I'm going to go start with the Alfredo. My utensils too. This is similar to Olive Garden restaurant chain. Never got to try this. I'm not the one in Greenbrook, New Jersey, and they have one also in East Brunswick. But this is a closer one. I'm just mixing in all the Alfredo sauce and the noodles but you can see they give actually a pretty good amount I thought this was like a kid size but including the chicken all right so there you go you can see there's the pasta noodle and the alfredo sauce so let's go ahead and see how this tastes Mmm. Mmm. That first bite, I could taste the creamy Alfredo sauce. They actually gave me quite a lot of Alfredo sauce when I mix it in. As compared to Olive Garden, they don't have a Alfredo, Fettuccine Alfredo as a side. But I know they have take home dishes, but they don't have the actual side of Alfredo. I'll take one more bite. This is really delicious. Mm. I 
I've been a huge fan of Alfredo. I definitely love creamy Alfredo, although they are high in calories. That's why you gotta watch out for. So ordering a side would be better. I remember at Applebee's, I did a video a while ago. I tried their kids' chicken Alfredo with broccoli. They also have something from the kids' menu too. But they don't, I remember, I think they have the pen mac and cheese, that's what they call it. Also, chicken fingers and fries, small size spaghetti. I'm not sure if it includes a drink too, or dessert, like most restaurants do. Mmm, but that had a good amount. That was quite cheesy too. I'm also going to try their truffle fries. Mmm, smells, I can smell the crispiness in the Parmesan too. So here's one french fry. See, it's crispy and also the Parmesan on the french fry too. And they actually give me quite a good amount. So anyways, let's go ahead and see how this tastes. Mmm. First bite, I can taste most of the french fry. I'm trying to get that parmesan taste too. Mmm. Although they didn't give me any ketchup, I do not know why. But that taste had a good, well it's still fresh, but it's not soggy. French fries can become soggy when I get home if I have to dry far. But now I'm doing the video early so it's still fresh. But I had to get home quickly. So it doesn't get soggy. That's how french fries are normally are. Mmm. I definitely would like to try the dessert but I wanted to start off simple. I checked on their menu online that they have a chocolate cake. I think it's in Italian, but it's a souffle de chocolate. It's basically a chocolate cake with layers and it has a whipped cream too. And they also have a tiramisu, that's what they call it. And also a cannoli. I think that's a popular dessert in Italy. This is an Italian grill, so that's why they're serving all, all this. And I checked online compared to Olive Garden. Olive Garden has more choices in terms of desserts and selections compared to Carabas. I'm not sure what that means in Italian, Carabas. I have to check it online. But overall, I, they give a good amount of Parmesan sprinkled. And what's ironic is that Olive Garden, they don't serve french fries as their side. At Caraba, they did. They serve French fries, but when you get it, when you order at Olive Garden, their kid, when he gets their something from the kids menu, their chicken fingers and fries, that's the only fries option you can have. They don't have a side of French fries at Olive Garden. I wish they did, but that's their. I don't know why. They should definitely include that. And also, I'm going to try. side of bread too. Hmm. Let me see if I want to put on olive oil. Mm, I'm not a big fan of olive oil. I'm not sure why they gave vinegar and garlic oregano, but here's one out. So let's go ahead and see how this tastes. Mmm. Tastes like Any typical bread you get from any restaurant. Mm. I didn't ask for it, but they have the option to include bread, but it's free too when you order it online. And they gave me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slices of white bread. I'm not sure if they have whole grain bread, but I know that most restaurants, 
like the Cheesecake Factory, they have multi-grain or whole grain. That, that means the same thing. But I don't know why they don't start providing butter. I don't see butter in here or in the bag. But overall, that bread was really delicious. I would definitely like to try more of their items and foods from Carbas in my future videos. But overall, I would give this a 4.5 out of 5. I recommend you guys trying this. This is actually one of my, one of the best restaurants to go to so far around here. I have to check any, if there's any other Italian restaurants that I want to go. I've been to Olive Garden and this, and I'll have to check if there's, see if there's any other restaurants nearby. So hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.